Uh, it's Jay here. And I kind of felt it was time just, you know, and I think I'm starting doing this daily. You know, sometimes it's nice just to talk straight from the heart. Nothing prompted, nothing written, and, and let you know what's on my mind. Uh, last night I had a guest on, Dr. Carlton Young, and um, very, <laughs> very heavy story, you know. Actually, within the uh, hour and 45 minutes that he was on the show, we uh, talked about his going from success to homelessness back to success, okay, which really, you need, really need to go uh, to my, my website on blogtalkradio.com. Just just uh, punch in uh, Jay Early and Friends, or you can even punch in... Uh, uh, Dr. Carlton Young and you come up on the show last night and we got to talking about the number of homeless people in America over 5,000 uh, over if I remember 1.5 million were kids but it's not just that it's the fact as to how we really treat homeless I had a, a, a uh, guest call in and uh, or a listener, excuse me, and she and Dr. Young were discussing the fact that homeless people have become big business. You know, folks, this is getting crazy. First, uh, they privatize the jail system, which means if you privatize the jail system, you're no longer trying to solve the problem. You're trying to um, keep the problem going for profit in someone's pocket, kind of just like the water's going on right now. Okay, because you and I know, no one's talking about the war anymore. They're still sending soldiers over there. People are still being killed. But it's not the big news. Okay, so uh, it's not mainstream. And we all know that uh, some of the underlying causes of the war was profit. War, bombs go off, price of gas went up. By the way, price of gas has not come back down since we went into Iraq. It's even gotten higher. And living in Europe, I mean, it's really crazy. If I told you what we paid over here, you wouldn't believe it. Um, but to get back to the show, and the reason I wanted to make this tape today, because I've come to find out that we still have a lot of issues that we have to uh, address. And my apologies for moving out of the light. I don't have, you know, I'm, I'm working in my own home studio, so uh, it's very difficult. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Okay, go to my Facebook page under uh, J uh, J Early, or probably right below this video if you're on my Facebook page, and just give me some comments on um, on your thoughts on homelessness in America. And uh, Doctor did give us a couple of good tips, by the way, and he talks about the clothes that you decide to donate to homeless people. Don't give them the ones that you're about ready to throw in the trash can. That's basically what he's saying. Okay, these people have pride too. They're just down on their luck, a lot of them. They're not all drug addicts or alcoholics. Okay, they're people where the money just ran out. It can happen to any one of us at any time. Uh, I experienced it myself because in 2000. Uh, if you'd met me in 2000, I had a very thriving car insurance business, over a thousand clients over here in Europe, and then suddenly a war breaks out. My business is military soldiers, and then within two years, I'm closing my doors. Okay, so it can happen to anyone. But keep in mind what Les Brown says: very important. If you fall, make sure you fall on your back. Okay, because anytime you can fall and look up, look up. Listen to my words you can get up. So, you have to believe in you or believe in the powers that God has bestowed upon you. You have to stay disciplined and you have to be focused. Okay? You will come out of whatever situation you're in. So, I'm going to wrap it up for today and I will try my best to do this again tomorrow. Thanks for listening.